what's up y'all all right so in all the vacant videos most of the vacant videos that i do i always have some people ask me why i don't keep cylinders already keyed up ready to go and that's what this video is about mainly so that i can just link to this video when somebody has the question so the question was why don't i keep cylinders keyed up ready to put in and there's a simple reason for that simple reason being number one residential locks have four different finishes for the most part bright brass antique brass dark bronze satin nickel and sometimes brushed chrome so we could say five finishes when I get to a house, I don't know what finish it is for the most part, unless we specifically ask the customer if they're needing new locks put in to be able to match those finishes. So when I get on a rekey of a vacant, and let's just say, for instance, we'll just use the last one that I did as an example, where I had just one door to get in. I've got another one I've got to go to today. I have no idea what brand of locks are on there, but I do know I have to get into the door and open it and unlock it and rekey it. So again, the people who have asked those questions, I think for the most part, this is like an overseas thing versus US thing because y'all have profile cylinders that may have one or two finishes, but literally they're all the same. We have the five different finishes. We have multiple brands between Quickset, between Defy, between Gatehouse, between Schlage, Good Schlage, cheap schleg there's in all say five different good schleg five different cheap schleg five different quick set five different gatehouse and so on and so forth so what that leaves you with is having maybe two or three let's say that i kept say three cylinders right and, and we're gonna example this by getting this craftsman this is my quick set repair kit so in this repair kit, I do keep cylinders, but those cylinders are to replace broken cylinders, not to swap out. And we're looking here and, and obviously we've got the smart key here. And then over here, we've got some regular cylinders here. So you could be like, well, these are non-keyed, uh, but see what I mean? So here's, here's, here's one, two, three. And then uh, I don't have any uh, Titan. I ran across a Titan the other day and I needed a replacement cylinder for it. There's an old quick set. So I keep these cylinders for these quick set specific cylinders for repairs where the plug cracks, especially on these older style that have this thin bolt. Uh, and that are used on like bar doors and such that this has to have this thin bolt and nowadays they come with this thicker bolt and it won't fit so it's much better for the customer to just fix that instead of having to charge them to route out the frame and, and it can get kind of expensive so you might be asking well there's two cylinders like on that particular job I could have switched out you know if I had these keyed up I could have you know blah 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 been done but no what happens there is I'll take this good cylinder, right? That's in good condition. And I'll be swapping it out for a cylinder that is in not so good condition. So in case I ran up on one where, let's say it looked like this, all right? So now I've switched out that cylinder, that good condition cylinder with this one that's scratched up. You know, each one has its own kind of characteristics after a while. Now, there's a brand new uh, dark or a, uh, mm, <laughs> I lost my train of thought, <laughs> antique brass. These two are going to go in that kit because they're still, I believe, in good condition. I'm going to double check to make sure. But if I had taken that good bright brass one that we just showed you and replaced it, I would be stuck with this one, which eventually is not good so i'd have to throw it out so that is one of the problems with it is basically the condition of the lock now again you might mention well hey that property you were on was uh just you know a ratty vacant property whatever the case is 
Well, still, the problem is, is I'm at that ratty vacant property and the very next job I could go to, a customer could have a need of a better conditioned cylinder or while I'm re-keying a lock, the, let's just say it's, it's really wallowed out and I decide to go ahead and swap out a cylinder with a newer condition one just for the customer. Usually, sometimes in some cases, I'll charge a little bit extra for the because the rekey kind of covers. I mean, honestly, rekeying is pretty much covering the cost of a used cylinder that doesn't cost me anything because they're taken from other jobs. But what I can do is if I have a customer that truly needs a replacement cylinder, then I can charge them whatever X amount extra to put that cylinder in. And again, I'm stuck with these bad ones that I got to throw out. So in the end, it cost me more. Same thing with the doorknobs. Now that particular one, I only had a passage knob on it, but this doorknob, I can pop this cylinder out, have it keyed up, ready to pop in. But you know what? I still have to unscrew this. I still have to pull the spindle. I still have to pop that out and then pop another one in. Really, I'm only adding a couple of minutes to actually take that cylinder apart, put it back in, leave it in the same condition as it was before, and then just go on to the next job. So that is pretty much the number one reason why I don't keep keyed up cylinders ready to put in on jobs like that. Now on the commercial side, that's a little bit different. I don't like doing it still. Let's just take these for example. And I did a, I think I did a short one time on these little dark bronze and brushed chrome or aluminum colored mortise cylinders. In the storefront world, there's dark bronze and there's chrome. So that reduces it. These were all taken off of another job. And sometimes I will have these keyed up ready to go. In fact, I just did uh, to do that and to save time on the rekey and or to replace wallowed out locks like this or like that. See how bad a condition that is? So yes, I had some brand new cylinders and this was on the door. I put these on instead. These wallow out pretty bad uh, after just a few years because of the pot metal that they're made in. And it is beneficial to the customer at that point to both switch it out. But you know what? I still kind of take a loss because I could sell this set of cylinders by themselves. I could just sell this to somebody as a new set of cylinders. Whereas when I'm on the rekey and I swap them out, I may be saving myself a little bit of time in the end, but I'm taking away the ability for me to sell those as new cylinders or in better condition than the other person cylinders. You might be saying, well, just charge for that, Jason. We're getting paid. We charge, we, we quote people a price to re-key locks, to just take it off the door, take their lock off the door, put another one in. If somebody wants a new lock or thinks they're getting a new lock for a re-key price, it's a whole different thing. You have to charge the price of the lock plus the labor to install it, which ends up being more than the actual rekey cost itself that's why we have locks that we lost this week because there is just a whole lot of different situations brands of locks styles of locks finishes of locks and uh sometimes they just they just need to go away they need to go run on the scrap bin and the ones that are in good condition we keep to sell for when it's needed and in my opinion since i have to take the lock off the door Put it back on the door. Sometimes pop the knob out on certain ones like that. It is just easier and it's better for us long term to just rekey the lock. Just take the extra few minutes to rekey. It's really loud out there today. But anyway, I hope that answers your question. I will be linking this video whenever somebody asks me that in a future video that I post. And uh, in fact, I'm probably going to go ahead and link this video to the question that I had that spurred me on. To doing this so now you know the answer as to why i don't have keyed up cylinders for the residential world is just too many to keep i mean i already have a full truck if i kept a whole round of keyed up cylinders ready to go i'm both switching good cylinders for possibly bad cylinders 
or losing out the ability to actually use that cylinder when needed and most of these it's it's not needed only when it's broken is when it's needed so anyway if you have any other questions or comments post them in the comment section and we'll catch y'all next video thanks for watching y'all